Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to be able to upgrade your Discord Digest version 12 to version 13. So a while ago, Discord released a new version. Uh, I'm kind of late, I know that, but they released a version 13 of Discord Digest and it's kind of a huge change. So if you don't know what's going on, basically Discord.js, which uh, you programmers, if you're a Discord.js programmer, you probably should know this, but um, Discord.js officially released a version 13, which includes Discord buttons, drop down menus, and a lot of stuff. And it's really, really cool in my opinion. But a lot of changes have occurred, such as sending embeds, sending collections, and etc. So in today's video, we're going to go through uh, the important changes. And also, if, we, if I didn't go through any of the changes, like the changes you were looking for, there's gonna be a link in the description down below uh, where you can go and check the whole blog which shows the whole changes happening like in this version 13 and it's gonna compare between the 12 and 13 so you can basically replace your code to the newest version but in today's video I'm just gonna go throughout the important changes which uh, commonly is uh, you know important to be noticed uh, in a new version basically if, if you understand what I'm trying to say Anyways, enough of me talking, let's actually get through the video, but I want you guys to, before we start the video, I want you guys to right now hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions throughout the video, or if you have any video ideas, I'm really, really appreciating every single one of your ideas or comments, I will definitely try my best to answer every single one of them. Anyways, without further ado, let's actually get into the video. So one important update they have done was the Node.js version and as you can see in this page the Node.js and Discord.js it shows that if you do not have Node.js installed but it's an older version uh, for example anything below 16.6 and you must upgrade to the latest version Discord.js version 13 requires Node.js uh, version 16.6 or higher. So if I go to the Node.js page I should be able to see this uh, current one, not the LTS. We don't want the LTS for the newest version. We want the current. Uh, for now, as of making today's video, uh, if it's more than the version 16.6.0, then you should be fine to go. But if it's not, then there's going to be some issues with the such as version 13. And to check what version you have, you just have to go to your command prompt, click on here, and you just have to basically type terminal or CMD honestly, I'm going to put with CMD since I'm using Windows 11, you guys probably don't have terminal. Uh, you just have to do node version. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. I have version 16.6.1. Now the first change that has occurred in the newest version of this village is version um, 13 uh, was basically the way we send the embeds and messages and stuff it's well messages are still the same but the embeds are completely changed and now from now on you can actually send more than 10 embeds at a time which is um really nice i guess um uh, it wasn't that big of a deal but they kind of changed the whole system from the way like that we changed the embed so basically last time as you can see we used to say tell us send an embed you know simple as that really really simple and then now they changed the message channel let's send like channel let's send whatever embeds and then you have to list the embeds that you want to send if you don't have anything they just say embed inside of this um bracket thing i don't know what's it called and channel let's send you have to do hello and then the embed in here but it's kind of changed now you have to specify what this hello is which is uh, a content and then the embeds after it and then for a reply, the same thing happens. Uh, we don't really care about this. But these two things are really important because you have to change the way you send the embeds on every single one of your codes. The second most important thing that you guys might have noticed with your bot was the intense problem, which if you upgrade to Vscodage version 13, your bot will apparently stop working because of some intent errors. And to fix that, it's really simple and straightforward which made it a lot of bit easier from last time in my opinion. So if you check in the logs, like in the change of version 13, you will see that in the old code in version 12, we had to put WS and then the intents we had to put. But in the new version, they thank God it deleted the WS, which had literally no meaning in my opinion, and it was pretty useless. And they actually deleted it completely so we just have to put intents and then the intent flag we want to choose which is really cool in my opinion and go on to fix your problem if you if you have any problem with your intent this is the new way you should do it one of the most huge changes that have occurred in this version 13 which in my opinion this is really important you have to change it right now in your code is from now on your message event won't be named message anymore it's called message create from now on as you can see in the old it was message 
as an event but now it's called message create so everything is a straightforward if you still use the word like the message for your message event it's, it's still gonna work it's not gonna be deprecated yet but it will give you error each time you send a message well not each time once uh one time like in your console saying that you have to upgrade this to message create because it's gonna be deprecated and in my opinion right now you should change the message create and this is kind of huge for the future because the message word will not work anymore and here is a small change for the presence or the status of the bot uh, and it's pretty small you just have to add these into the you know this kind of marks here as you can see I just highlighted them you have to add these be before and after the name section i guess and it should be over and you have to change activity to activities that's pretty much it and here we are with the collections and i think this is kind of important if you use collections to get the messages and add them as a database later on or anything something like that you will ask questions and you have to answer and stuff so the filter now has to be instead of the you know this marks i just highlighted and you have to put it as a filter but if you don't have a name for the filter though that's where you have to put uh, something like this i'm gonna show you right now so as you can see my ticket system i asked for the first filter and as you can see from my filter i created a new message collector but since my filter name is not filter exactly you have to identify what the filter name is so i'm just gonna go on as you can see i said the filter first filter zero is the filter so just don't put first filter like this because it will not work you have to make it like this if it's the word is not filter if you understand what i'm trying to say and the last important thing i just got got my you know notice uh was that has permission and i had a lot of problems with this one because a lot of my commands require permission right and so the new version you don't have to use you don't use has permission you have to use permission that has and it will work so it's, it's a quite an it's, not, it's a, like i said there is some unnecessary uh you know changes which really didn't need any changes in my opinion but this is the new change that they put so i'm just gonna follow it but has permission in my opinion was more understandable it was pretty cool in my opinion but yeah i guess they just had to change it i guess so yeah anyways guys that's all the changes we have for today's video if i didn't explain a lot of changes is because like i said in the beginning they were either not that important or necessary to be noticed in this video and like i said there's a link in the description down below you can go ahead and check and in that link you will be able to see the full changes and we'll explain from the scratch that the what you should do for upgrading to version 12 to 13 and has all the changes that has occurred so go ahead and check it out if you need to upgrade your coder or something like that Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions or any concerns or any video ideas in the future. This is Dashcraft, and I'm happy to be back on YouTube again making video for you guys, and I am out. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.